Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to personalize your Mac by installing themes on your Mac. Well, all you need is a Macintosh or a Hackintosh and a working internet connection. First of all, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon for future notifications and as a motivation to me. Well, the tutorial is divided into two parts, part 1 and part 2. Part 1 is for Yoshimite and upper versions and part 2 is for the lower versions from Snow Leopard to Mavericks. Now, let's move on to part 1. Take your browser and search for flowers to Mac and I have left the links in the description below. Now just click on the first link that comes up in your search bar. This is the official site for this software that helps us to change themes on our Mac called Flavors. Now just click on the download button and you will be given two options here. Flavors to Light and Flavors Classic. Flavors Classic is for older versions of Mac and Flavors 2 is for newer versions from Yoshimite. Now just click on the download link here and download the software it's in dmg format just go ahead and download it now as we have already downloaded it i'll be use using flavors classic for the second part of the review for the installation Okay, now let's move on to step 2 of the tutorial. Now open the DMG file that you have downloaded from the website. Here I have got flavors2.dmg file and I'll just double click on it and open it. And now just click on the icon and drag into the application section to install the application onto your Mac. And as you can see I have got a Yosemite version 10.10 here and guys just make sure that you do not all the theme features on my Mac currently just see the wallpaper the top bar color design and the dog color design and all so after this I will just open the flavors to application that we are currently installing and just go ahead and change the settings so that you will be really wondered by how this small application can make changes to our Macintosh in an amazing way. One another thing that we have to keep in mind is Flavors 2 application that we are using right here is a trail version and if you do want the original version either pay money and buy it or else go through the internet and find some crack that will open it to you. Well, for the demonstration purpose, I will just stick with this light version here and show you guys how it will work. Now let's wait for the installation to complete. The installation has been completed and I will just open the flavors to application here. And as you can see, it's asking us to buy or activate the software and I'll stick with the trial version here. Now just go over to the library section and here you have something like 150 plus pre-built themes for us to choose from or you can build your own themes too. I will stick with the pre-built themes and I will just apply this one and show you guys how the theming process is, how our uh, Mac desktop or Mac uh, operating system will be completely changed the changes can be seen to the file manager the top bar and uh, highlight color and even the icons too now let's wait for the theme to be applied well as you can see the theme have been applied and uh, from the First look itself, it is clear that a lot of things have been changed, including the background of the dock, the top bar, the uh, Apple icon in the top left corner of the top bar, and even the looks of our file manager here too. 
well everything have been changed as you can see right now now I'll just go to the application again and choose some another theme so that I can give preview of more than one theme here to you guys Okay, now I'll just go ahead and choose this dark theme over here named Android L and uh, we have got some options here to choose the background style that we want with the theme and as you can see a plethora of changes are given here with the theme description and um, let's just apply the theme and see how the and their desktop will be changed and now the theme have been applied uh, and as you can see even the options to close minimize or maximize a window given the top left corner has been changed more than android icons now i'll just choose this theme over here and as you can see i have managed to make changes to the windows again and even to the top bar here and you can see that the highlight color have also been changed along with the dog background now that's all guys it's really easy it's a good way to personalize your mac as per your choice because the ui can get a bit boring with time now let's move on to part two of our tutorial now i'll just brief you to step one where we will be installing this theme manager's first version that is flavor on a mac os of pre yosemite ram for that just go over to your browser and search for flavors mac i have provided the link in the description below now just click on the download button or scroll down the website and um, just click on the download button it's not working right now i think i'll click it from here yes we have got the download link and click on the flowers classic icon here and you will be redirected to this page here as you can see now and if you click on the download now button you will be just given the light version as in the case of flowers 2 that we had earlier seen and let's move on to step 2 i am doing this tutorial on my, my mavericks macintosh uh, as evident from the doc and all now just copy the flavors application into your application section and open it now we have got the flavors or software open here well i'll just choose a trail version and if you guys do want just go ahead and buy it or find a crack anywhere in the internet well there don't seem to be any pre-built themes here i will just try and browse online for some themes first of all let me connect to my wi-fi network here and guys i have dual booted my mavericks and yosemite and if you do want to try that out just click on the i button in the top right corner of the screen and uh, you will get a tutorial for the same now i have decided to stick with the inbuilt options within the software flavors here to build themes uh, one feature that is being praised about this application is uh, the ability that grants its user to build custom themes for uh, the person as per his likes i'll just go ahead and try to build a theme for myself from the templates given here or right from the scratch okay i'll just try and play around with the options given here well here we have an option to change the color schemes of various buttons and, and here in the preview section we can see the changes being made well now let's try something else uh, 
and the team building session is pretty good uh, you can do it by yourself there is nothing that big geeky in this process all you have to do is just tweak the settings as per your likes change the colors and that's all and i think there might be an option to add images from external devices like our desktop or hard drive and all into the software and thus into the theme well they are even providing an option to change the colors of the buttons to close maximize or minimize a window given in the top right top left corner of our windows well i have chosen a lot of things here as you can see and i'll just try and finish this theme so that we can get to see how the theme will change the desktop features along with all the other features like the file manager the highlighting the top bar and all Okay, we have to provide a compulsory name and description here. I think only then we can save. I've given some names here, and now I can save the theme. It has been saved, and I will just try and apply this theme and see how my desktop will be transformed. Okay, just click apply, and it's applying the theme. Well, as you can see, the theme have been changed, and the color schemes, the highlighting, and even the folder window here from the file manager, everything have been changed. Thanks for watching, guys. Please comment your doubts below, and we'll get back as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. Till next video.